ladies and gentlemen, and robotics programmers, we're going to do project 3C, the motion alarm. Let us look at the finished project. It's a little bit, this one's a little clunky. So at any rate, we basically take the project A. Let's see if I can get it in the camera. We take project A, right? So we still have the, the distance sensor and all that. If you look at it, I, I cannot do this. This is ridiculous. They still have the light sensor. The difference is that when things get closer, then it makes a sound and there's like, I don't know if you can see it, but see the little cat is shaking around. Okay, so we have a little servo, we have a little servo unit that moves and we also have a buzzer that buzzes. So when it gets to the closest, when it gets to the closest setting, we have a buzzer that goes off and then we have our cat like shake around. All right, so that's what you're going to do. All right. All right, so for the first question on the notes, I want you to look on the internet and find out what is a mechanism? What's the definition of a mechanism? Because that because the um, the cap attached to that level that lever arm is considered a mechanism. So we need to know what a mechanism is. All right, let's go ahead and hook it up. So we're going to take a look at page sixty-five through sixty-seven and hook it up. Um, so let's open up the textbook that's in Google Classroom, and if you if you look at it, it's going to show you um, how to bend the paper clip, how to attach it to the servo motor. Um, you're going to get a picture of something. It could be a cat. Um, you're going to cut it out and attach. Make sure it's about the right size because it needs to be able to be taped to the front of your Arduino. And make sure you don't destroy the Arduino. So don't like hot glue it or anything like that. We're just going to use tape and then maybe there's some of that Velcro tape in, the, in your robotics project. So use that but try not to destroy anything. Okay, so hook it up just like this. Okay, and then we're gonna go ahead and code it. Um, so on this one, you're gonna open up lesson 3B and continue from there. Okay, so you're gonna do all your work. Oh, and I say, I think I said 3A at the beginning. So you're gonna, you're gonna continue on with 3B and we're gonna, we're gonna go from there. Okay, so code to note um, in your notes, what is a constant? It's a pound on page 68. How does the no tone method work? Put that into your notes. Um, oh, okay, well, I guess I guess we're just gonna start coding it here. All right, so like I said, we're gonna start off with um, 3B, okay? And we're gonna say, oh, this is, we're gonna say now, it's going to be 3C. Okay, and so the first thing we have to do is, so we're adding in the pin driver for the for the buzzer. So we have to add in a couple of things. Okay, so we're going to put in for the pin driver. Oh, wait, no, that's not the first thing. Up here we have to, we're, we're uh, bringing the servo back. So we had the servo in 3A, not in 3B. Now we're bringing it back. So we have to do the, the code for, the, for that. So it's going to be hashtag and then include, and then the brackets, and then it's going to be servo.h, so inside it's going to be capital.h. So that's the library we're going to include so that we can use the servo. And then down here in the instance variable declaration area, we're going to create the pin for the buzzer. What is the, which one are we using? Okay, so it's going to be, so that's a constant int buzzer pin. That's not how you spell pin. Okay, so number 10 is going to run the buzzer. Then I'm going to go ahead and copy that. Oh, no. And then down here, we're going to create the servo object. So capital servo. Servo my servo. Okay. And then... So that's the first thing. So we're setting up our instant variable. So we basically said, hey, we're saying, hey, buzzer pin equals holding 10 because we're going to hook up the buzzer pin to pin 10, creating our, our servo object. Okay, so now down into the setup, we're going to say, so we're going to say, we got we to gotta tell the buzzer pin that it's a buzzer pin. So we're going to say... In mo so, so for the buzzer pin, which is going to be 10, we're going to say it's output. So that's we're going to 
tell the buzzer to go off. And then here we're going to tell the servo what to do. So the so my capital S my servo dot attach to nine. So nine runs the servo. Okay, so we already should know that. Okay, so then coming down to the loop. So what we're going to do is right here. So on this part, it's a lot, it's pretty similar, except for um, if it's close, if the object is close, we're going to change it to the light to red. But now we're going to wiggle the servo and we're going to turn the, the beeper on. Okay, so that's going to look, so we come down here. And so to buzz the buzzer pin, we're going to say tone. Okay, so tone, nope, oh, I did that wrong. There we go. So tone buzzer, so the buzzer pin is going to have a tone, and then that's the, that's the frequency we're going to use. And then we're going to move the servo 45 degrees. So we're going to say my servo dot, we're going to write, we're going to do that to 150, so 150 degrees. So we're going to move the servo, and then before we move it again, we're going to wait one second. Okay, and then we're going to turn the buzzer off. After after we wait, we're going to turn the buzzer off, and so we're going to use the new our new new, new no tone, and we're going to oops, and we're going to do that to our buzzer pin. Okay, so we're just turning it totally off, and then, so then the servo, now we're going to change the position of the servo, so copy this, paste this, and then we're going to change it from one, we're going to change it from, oh, I think I did this right, wrong, come back up here, and this is supposed to be 10 here, okay, so moving the servo, 10, and then we're going to go to 150 down here. And you can adjust these. These numbers, you can change these to whatever you want, whatever works for your project. And then we're going to go ahead and wait the 100 milliseconds again, which is the same thing before. Oops. So I wanted to copy that. Okay. So we're going to wait 100 milliseconds. So everything else is the same. So, so if it's close, we turn it red, and we turn on the we turn on the buzzer, we wiggle the servo, we turn off the buzzer, buzzer, we wiggle the servo, and everything else is the same. We do yellow and we do green, and then we still have our user defined function down here that stays the same. So let's go let's go ahead and do this. Let's go ahead and go make sure we're tools. Let's go to port six. So let's go ahead and verify, see if I made any errors on this. Uh-oh. Does not name a type. Where is that at? Oh. So I think I just forgot a semicolon there. Let's verify it again. Sorry about that. Okay, good. So let's go ahead and I'm going to upload it and see if this version works. Yep. It appears, you can't see it, but it appears to work just fine. Yeah, it works just fine. All right, good. That's it. Um, yeah, so make sure you go on to the coding challenges and make sure you show this thing to me and all that jazz. Thanks, guys.